Hey guys, this is Matt from House Rules Games. Thought I'd do a quick unboxing of the Dark Crystal before we get to finding out how to play it and start playing it. Um, I've seen unboxing videos on a lot of people's different channels. They're really, really cool and I hope to be a part of that as well as everything else that we plan on trying to do with this channel. Please jump over to Tabletop Troubadour and give that guy a subscribe. He is the creator of the board game for the Dark Crystal as well as the creator for the board game of the Labyrinth. Really good guy. Really, really beautifully done board games. I want to take you real quick through this here and show you uh, exactly just how gorgeous it is. These here obviously are screenshots from the movie but something I just noticed today was this gorgeous artwork right here on the edges. A uh, picture right there from the uh, Dark Crystal Chamber. Uh, let's see here. This right here being the uh, runes of the old Gelfling Society where the prophecy had been foretold. The dining hall from the Skeksis. The Skeksis dining hall from the Dark, from the dark Tower. Uh, as well as one other room. Can't quite remember which one that one is. This here being Agra's home. The planetarium, if you will. And the Valley of the Mystics. I mean, just everything about this board game is just 100% gorgeous. Please get out there, get your copy, try this game out. I'm going to leave it right there just for a minute in case if anyone wants to pause the video and, and read what's all written there. Uh, this game comes with a lot, a lot, a lot of pieces, which is probably why it recommends right here. Zero to three should not even be around the game, and it's recommended for ages 14 and up. Uh, I know I've got a couple of family members that could handle it, and I've got a couple of family members that are way over 14 that couldn't handle it. It recommends two to four players, but you could play this by yourself for practice, for learning how to play it. Uh, this is uh, released by River Horse, as well as the Jim Henson Company. Yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm not exactly the most manly of men. So instead of having a pocket knife on me, I just happen to have a fingernail that'll cut through it. And pull all this off. I have waited almost a week to open this because I wanted this to be the first video that Cody and I did on our channel when we started it. Oh man, that is just gorgeous. I really wish you guys were here to see this. This is phenomenal looking. Alright, so that's the inside. We've got all of our dice. For anyone who's not super familiar with all the different dice, uh, this is a regular six-sided, uh, four-sided, eight, ten, twelve, and twenty. Uh, the different colors and the different numbers will come into play later with the character sheets. Uh, here are, and I, I, oh my gosh, I can't even believe how gorgeous these are. If you jump over and check out Tabletop Troubadour, you will see just how gorgeous these pieces are. You'll see how they did it. That is obviously Jin with the Crystal Shard. Oh man, that is just gorgeous. Put that up there. Uh, this here is Kira with her hood on. There we go. And Fizzgig right there. Uh, here you can see a light slip in the back of her robe. That's where her wings would come out, the uh, theoretically. Uh, and this right here is actually a screenshot from the movie when Kira first pulls her hood down to talk to Jen. Oh man, I cannot believe how gorgeous these pieces are. 
yeah, so if you if you jump over there to that uh, other YouTube channel, you can see how he sculpted these and uh, he later paints them. That is one of the Skeksis. Sorry about that. Oh, man. With his scepter, actually, that particular, particular Skeksy should be the Gartham Master. So there's that one. And finally, Skeksel, who's the Chamberlain. Sorry guys that not all of this is all quite in the shot. Just bear with me. But isn't that gorgeous? So we're just going to set these pieces off to the side. And so down here um, we've got the character sheets for all of the characters. Uh, the playing pieces that I have already shown you. That there is Jin. This is where all of your dice are going to come into play. Your... D8, D10, and D4, uh, speed, weight, and brawn. All of them have the same three, speed, weight, and brawn, but they've all got different dice that are going to do different things. For example, Jin and Kira are going to be a lot faster than either of the Skaxis. The Their wit is probably going to be almost as strong as the Skaxis, but the Skeksis have been living for a thousand years. Uh, if you don't count the Urskex. So that's Jin right there. Uh, his willpower, that's kind of like HP. He starts off with five, I believe, but he can go up to six. There's Kira. I mean, just look at how gorgeous this stuff is. That's Kira. She starts off with four, but can go up to six. Skeksil, the Chamberlain, he starts off with three but can go up to four. And Skekung, the Gartham Master, he starts off with three but can go up to four. And that is the back of uh, all of the character sheets, what they look like. This right here is obviously all of the cards that we're going to use. So actually, let me go ahead and pull that out. And the dice, which we've already discussed. These are just uh, card stands that you're going to use when we get down underneath this gorgeous little velvet-covered uh, plastic lining. We find the... Uh, rule book which is right here it's 24 pages uh, it's actually not nearly as bad as you think because there's a lot of illustrations um, explaining the different dice if you're not super familiar with it which is right there explaining the board how to play what all the different cards are which we will cover all of this in the next video on the rules how to play the dark crystal the board game this right here is an advertisement the Anniversary Edition Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD coming this spring. So that would be this year, 2018. And, oh great, great. So this here is uh, also an advertisement for the Labyrinth board game that I was talking about earlier. Um, do not let that game pass you by either. This game is for anywhere between... Uh, two to four players, but again, you can play from one all the way up to five. You can actually get someone to play as Jareth. Uh, it adds a, a nice little spice to the game. Uh, the Goblins expansion pack for the Labyrinth board game, and you can actually get deluxe pieces for the original game. So there's that. And here we have the board. Whew. Bear with me, guys. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Look at that.
So that's the board. Uh, this here is obviously the dark tower. Um, these blank spaces right here that are highlighted, that's where you're going to be traveling all across the board looking for the crystal shard. When you find it, you'll make your way to the middle of the board and you will let yourself into the dark tower and that's where you'll try to aim for the final battle. These are the pieces, the uh, cardboard pieces that you need the stands for as well as your um, turn counter. Looks like you can go up to 23 turns. That's really awesome. That's a lot more turns than what I thought. Let me pull this one out so that you can see it. Here you got the Emperor's Staff, the Dark Crystal Shard. That right there is the Planetarium. Oh, gosh. These are gorgeous. All right. Then over here you have one of the Mystics and Fizzgig. Apparently they're going to come into play. And that's what the underbelly of the clock is going to look like. But we will assemble that and have it ready for you in the next video. And here we have some more pawns and tokens. These are your Willbauer tokens. They look like shields or something. You've got four Gartham. These are the Podlings. And then two Skeksis that are, if I'm not mistaken, the exact... I want to say that they're the same uh, Skeksis as the game pieces, which are right here. But I could be wrong. Uh, but we will find out. We will. So move that aside and then check out the back of the board again. Uh, it comes with four of the figurines. Uh, two, two Gelflings and two Skeksis. A rule booklet. Two by two, which is feet. A board. Game board. Uh, lavishly illustrated with inspiring new artwork featuring all the legendary places from the movie including Agra's Observatory, the Valley of the Stones, and the Crystal, Crystal Castle. Over here we've got 25 world cards which is where all these cards are going to come into play. 25 world cards, 9 mystic cards, 7 Skeksis cards, and 15 minion cards which brings our total up to 56 if I'm not mistaken cards. There are 20, I'm sorry, there are over 20 game tokens, which would be all of these, and these, and these. The, the turn counter is probably not considered a token. There are six dice, which are right here. Cardboard stand-up and bases. So these are the bases again. Here, let me go ahead and pull one of those out so you can see what I'm talking about. Some people may not be quite as familiar with the old style board games where you only had stands and cardboard pieces and they were super flimsy. They'd break, they'd fall apart. These, I don't know if you can really see this, but this is some thick, thick cardboard. These things are not going to fall apart. This is probably every bit of a sixteenth of an inch, uh, maybe a little, little thicker. Then we have one array turn track, which again is the turn counter right here. So that is the Legend of the Dark Crystal board game and everything that comes in it. Uh, like I said, guys, this is brand new. It just came out uh, last month, if I'm not mistaken. It is beautifully, beautifully illustrated. Looks good. I have a really, really high hope that this is going to play really well. So please, anyone that is interested in the Dark Crystal, get out there, get looking at it, get the game. It's right now retailed for 49 
$9.99 if I'm not mistaken. I got mine at a slight discounted price because I belong to a couple of the game stores. Uh, rewards Club, so get out there, get this game, and please, anyone who doesn't know what the Dark Crystal is, maybe you accidentally clicked on this video, or you know, you're looking to find out what the Dark Crystal is, get out there, rent the movie. Uh, it used to be on Netflix and Hulu, I don't know that it is. Uh, it doesn't cost very much to, to buy the movie. It costs even less to rent it. And like I said, this spring we're going to have the Blu-ray and the 4K Ultra HD. So, alright. Come on back and we will discuss the rules. But for now, like I said, my name's Matt. I am with House Rules Games. And we look forward to seeing you guys, meeting you guys, getting to know each other. But yeah, other than that, this is our house. Welcome to it.